the second or third disc about I don't know about another 15 20 matches about so in their entirety so a really good documentary and really good set Brett to Hitman Heart the best there is the best there was and the best there ever will be at number three now number two number two what can I say for number two well of course of course for wrestling DVDs you got to go with Survivor Series Volume 1 because the Survivor Series started in 1987 and from it, in the first five disc set anyway uh, really shows uh, the true u unity of Survivor Series about the elimination sound matches and all types of extra stuff that they probably never showed in the Coliseum home videos plus they really cleaned it up a lot with the uh, you know, how WWE Studios you know cleaned it up and made it into something that was uh, very exciting. They really, uh, I, I'm impressed because I, I actually own this set. This is one of the sets that I do own, and I really enjoyed watching every single Survivor Series that they had on there uh, from 87 to 91. 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. And then Volume 2 has 96, or no. Volume 2 has 92, 93, 94, 95, and 96. But the only thing that's missing is Volume 3 and Volume 4. But that hopefully will come out during this year's Survivor Series. And finally, at number 1, probably the best DVD that I've seen, that I've even watched uh, so far that I can say, is the Best of Raw, 1993 to 2008. Highlighting all the when they when Ra turned 15 years old here a few years back, a couple years ago, uh, they came out with a compilation DVD of, of everything. They showed highlights. They showed uh, everything they could possibly show with with Ra's history, and they did the same thing with SmackDown. But I really enjoyed Ra's a lot more just because it's been around a lot longer. There's a lot of key moments in there that I've never seen before, and I've been watching wrestling for a very long time. I didn't actually start watching Monday Night Raw until about maybe 95, 96 when we finally got the USA Network on our cable lineup because there was a time when we didn't have, you know, all these wonderful channels that we got now. Uh, our, our cable used to be really, well, we always used to have good cable and good channels, but it was more for local channels and TBS and all that stuff. I think I watched WCW a lot more than I watched WWF Raw at the time, or WWF, but anyway... So I recommend all these DVDs. I recommend all five that I've said. And if you guys are really big fans of a wrestling, you will enjoy the rise and fall of WCW, NWO, Back in Black, uh, Brett the Hitman Heart, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, and and Survivor Series Volume One, the com uh, the complete anthology, and of course none other than what I just got done saying <laughs> the last one the best of raw so hopefully you guys enjoy this little uh, spin off of, I guess of me talking about my favorite top five favorite documentaries or, or wrestling DVDs uh, it probably wasn't, didn't go the greatest that I thought it was but you know thanks to Sony Vegas at least you, I can show you the pictures of what I'm talking about rather than just hold them up you can actually see the whole the whole front cover at least is that what's more important? And also, a little message to uh, uh, Dweebo1234. I am excited that you uh, are getting excited about me doing the food uh, challenge. And that will happen, but it won't happen until sometime next week. Because, I, like I said in my previous, my other video, that I won't be able to... I won't get paid till this weekend because of all the stuff that's going on. You know, my brother's girlfriend having a baby and all that. Me become an uncle for the very first time. And, yeah. And then a lot of stuff is going on this weekend. But, the videos are still going to keep happening, no matter what. And, and so, like I said, I'm going to do something special because it was requested especially from Dreamable1234 and Cool Duder. It doesn't get any bigger than that as far as I'm concerned. You know, unless, unless Shea Carl called me out or whatever. <laughs> That'd be the, the the next big step, or if Fred called me out, but the fact that Ethan Phillips and, and Sean Phillips, you know, the brothers, you know, they they are the ones that inspire me to become, you know, to become a YouTuber, 
that are calling me out and asking me to do a challenge or informational food video, I'm going to do it special for them, especially. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's edition of the Frankie Slauson Daily Summer Vlog uh, is going to be very a lot more exciting because we're going to go in depth history. It might even be a two parter of the history of Mad Magazine and Cracked. What did you prefer better, Mad or Cracked? And we'll talk about some famous, some of my favorite uh, uh, Mad Magazine covers and some of my favorite Cracked Magazine covers. So you want to stick around for that. And we'll see you tomorrow for another great daily summer vlog, Frankie Slauson Show, on YouTube.com. Bye-bye.